I want you to know that you have options when it comes to mounting your camera at the ballpark. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you for those of you who have supported this channel. The encouraging words that you have left in the comments have been a huge help to me and encouragement to me. Those of you who have begun to order items off of our merchandise page at jdubhoffman.com slash merchandise. Thank you, because that absolutely does support this channel. Many of you have clicked on the affiliate links in the description. I've even received a super thanks recently. Thank you so much for the way you guys have supported this channel. Now, our options that we have for mounting our cameras at the ballpark include the magnet mount that you can get on our merch page. This isn't a merch pushing video. It also includes the Archon CCTV mount that you can get on Amazon. And because there are a lot of ballparks who are now saying you can't hang anything from the fence, it also includes a telescoping tripod. I'll show you that here in just a little bit. Now, you may notice that I'm not including the fence clip in the options for mounting your camera at the ballpark. And the reason I don't include the fence clip is because when you mount to the fence or to the netting, if you're using that version of the fence clip, is because it gets so much back and forth motion, yes, from foul balls, but more often it's gonna get it from fans who are either putting their feet up on the fence or grabbing the netting or the fence to pull themselves up out of their lawn chair that's sitting next to the fence. There is way too much unnecessary camera movement when we use a fence clip. So I've not used one at any of my streams. I'm choosing to only use the magnet mount. That's almost exclusively what I use. Or one of the other ones that we'll look at here. So to start with, the Archon CCTV mount is a triple jointed mount that will allow you to zip tie your arm, your mounting arm, to the pole at the ballpark. So whatever the net or fence is hung from, you can actually have a secure mounting to it via a reusable zip tie. And you can see here that you do have these three points of adjustability to let you find the place to peek through the fence. It's nice and sturdy. It doesn't move with the fence because it's not coming in contact with the fence. The only time you might ever get a movement is if you get a foul ball that is hit so close to a direct hit of this camera, you, you may get a little bit of that, of that pole swaying back and forth, but that's short-lived and it's very rare in my experience. The next thing is that magnetic camera mount. These D66 magnets do a great job of holding a good sturdy camera shot. Even these smaller diameter poles that I have access to today, it will hold a good solid view. It does not slide. I do use this reusable zip tie again as a soft tether, just loosely wrapped through there in case I do get a foul ball that does get close enough to, to, uh, to make an, any kind of contact with the camera that would push it away from the fence. If you use the double articulating ball head mount on the magnet mount, you'll see that you have two pivots of adjustability to again find the correct spot to peek through the fence. I've used this at both nettings and I've used it with the uh, with the chain link fence here and it works well for both of them. And then the tripod with the boom arm to allow you to set up at the fence, not mounted on the fence, and then let that boom out toward the fence. So once again, you're peeking through the, uh, the square or the diamond in the chain link or the netting, and it allows you to have a spot where you can set up at a ballpark that doesn't allow you to actually hang on the fence for your camera mounts. You can use then a, a, a ball mount at the end to fine tune the very last of the adjustability to see in between the, uh, the space that you're needing to get for the camera shot. Now, here I've set this up behind the home plate so that I will have a, a single camera view of the infield. Uh, if I want to, I can set these up in other places uh, up, up the first or third baseline to get alternate views. And there is one more way to mount these cameras, and that would be on a monopod run up next to one of these poles. I do that oftentimes above the first base dugout. I zip tie my monopod up the pole uh, a couple of three places so it's nice and sturdy, and then that gives me a view from, from the first base or the third base side that allows me another shot for filming, streaming our baseball games.